Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is the definition of machine learning and what are the different type of machine learning algorithm exists. Now the first question comes in front of us, what is uh, machine learning? The definition of uh, machine learning given by Tom Michel is one of the famous definition which was given in 1998. According to Tom Michel, machine learning is the study of uh, algorithm that improves the performance of P at some task t with experience e that is nothing but uh, for a particular task if you design an algorithm if the performance of that particular algorithm is improving with experience then you can say that the machine is learning otherwise the machine is not learning so initially when you provide some set of experience for a given task the performance may be you can say that x and as and when you go on giving more and more experience to that particular uh, algorithm, the performance will go on improving from x to x plus 1, x plus 2 and so on. If it goes on improving, then you can say that the machine is learning, otherwise machine is not learning. So this is one of the famous definition given by Tom Michel. Now we will try to see what are the different type of uh, machine learning algorithms present. There are three types of machine learning algorithms we have. The first one is uh, supervised machine learning algorithm, unsupervised machine learning algorithm and reinforcement machine learning algorithm. We will see one by one in detail. The first one is supervised machine learning algorithms. In supervised machine learning algorithm, an artificial intelligence system is presented or given with a data which is labeled. That is nothing but each and every example is labeled uh, the correct uh, value. For example, the first example may be given the value yes, second one may be given again yes, third one may be given no and so on. Each and every example is given a correct label. That data will be given as an input to the AI system in this case. Take an example to understand this particular part uh, clearly. Let us say that we have collected some set of emails and uh, along with that particular email what we do is we will assign some label to each and every email for example a email is spam email is not spam so you have email that along with that particular email we have assigned a label also so such data is called as the label data and this da label data is given as an input to the supervised machine learning model for the purpose of training so as and when you go on giving this particular data to your model the model will go on learning then uh, when when the training is over you can test that particular model with the help of uh, new emails uh, the new emails will be classified into either spam or not spam uh, based on the result you can check the accuracy of the model in this case this can be shown uh, uh, diagrammatically something like this we have to give some set of uh, emails along with emails we have to give the labels also for example email is not spam here this email is spam this will be given as an input to the learning system. It will go on learning as and when we go on providing some set of uh, emails. Once it learns, the model is created. Now, what we do is uh, we will give new emails with no labels. Then uh, the learned model will classify these new emails into uh, spam or a not spam in this case. I will take one more example in this case. Uh, this is the model uh, what we want to train here. To this particular model, we are trying to give two things. One is apple and one more is orange here. Along with this particular thing, we are trying to give the label also. So again, this is called as a label data. Once it uh, it gets trained, we can give a new uh, data and the new data will be classified based on the trained model in this case. This is the overall picture of how uh, the supervised machine learning uh, model looks like. The initially, we have some set of data. The data will be divided into two parts. The first part is uh, the training data. Another one is the testing data. The training data, uh, it may be anything. For example, it may be document, image, sound. Based on the kind of problem you are solving, you may be having some set of data here. Along with this particular data, we will give label to this particular machine learning algorithm. What machine learning algorithm will do is it will take this input as well as label it will learn from that particular data you will get a predictive model here now uh, once the predictive model is available you can give the new data but in this case you should not give the labels here the predictive model will uh, take that particular new data and then it will give you the result here whatever the result you will get you can compare that particular thing with what you are expecting 
if everything is fine the me meaning is the model has classified it correctly if the model has classified more number of examples correctly the meaning is it has learned otherwise it has not learned in that case now we will go to something called as uh, uh, what are the different type of supervised machine learning algorithms are there basically there are two types of uh, supervised learning algorithms the first one is a classification in this case the target label or the uh, can say that the label is either uh, categorical type for example red or blue disease or no disease and so on uh, it may be two classes or it may be more than two classes also but it is if it is of type categorical type then it is called as a classification in this case if the problem what you are solving if it has the output variable or the target of, of uh, real value then it is called as a regression kind of problem uh, or can say that regression uh, uh, algorithm in that case so here uh, uh, so some examples are like uh, the target is the dollar value the dollar value is not a categorical it, it is a continuous value maybe 70 75 80 or something like that the weight is the another example if the target is of type weight weight is not a categorical value here you will get a continuous uh, weights in this case also that is the reason it is called as a regression kind of problems over here now coming back to the unsupervised uh, learning in unsupervised learning the artificial system is given uh, unlabeled data or you can say that uncategorized data the data does not have any label in this case take an example we have given some uh, characters to our model the characters may be ducks or not ducks but we, we we give this particular data without any label to that particular model what model will do it will uh, take the hidden uh, patterns of that particular uh, data maybe the similarity index or the distance between two uh, data points and so on it will divide that particular data into multiple number of groups maybe clusters or you can say that uh, some uh, patterns will be generated and so on so that is what actually happens in unsupervised machine learning model so here this is what actually the data that's a ducks and no ducks but we don't give any label to this particular thing unsupervised machine learning model will take this as a input it will check the hidden patterns, cost similarity index, distance between the data points and then it will classify them into or uh, group them into different clusters over here. Take an example of uh, uh, one more example here. In this case, we have given apple and orange as an input to this particular model. But in this case, we are not assigning or we have not given any label here. So that's the reason it is called as unsupervised learning. This is the overall picture of uh, unsupervised learning. Uh, here again, we have uh, the data based on our problem definition. But the difference between this and unsupervised machine learning technique is we are not giving any label to the model here. We are just giving the data. Based on that, a model is generated. And then uh, we have to give the new data to this particular model. Model will generate the likelihood classification, clusters or better representations. That's what actually happens in unsupervised learning. Coming back to the uh, different types of unsupervised learning, uh, they, they may be classified into either cl clustering algorithms or association rules over here. Clustering is like uh, identifying the dif uh, dividing the data into different uh, groups. That is what is called as uh, clustering. Uh, based on the customer's uh, purchasing history, they may be put into some different clusters. That's what is the one example here. Association is like uh, uh, you can say that uh, market basket as analysis also. Uh, there is a possibility that if a particular person has uh, bought X product, he may tend to buy another product Y. So what we need to do is we need to put X and Y into one group. So that's another uh, uh, type of uh, unsupervised learning in this case. The last type of algorithms are reinforcement learning algorithms. In this case, the agent learns by interacting with its environment. That is, uh, whenever uh, uh, in environment, the agent will perform some set of actions. Uh, he may perform correct actions or he may not perform correct actions. If he perform correct actions, he will be given some rewards. If he perform some incorrect actions, he will be given a penalty. So what happens over here is the agent will go on performing some different set of actions. For a particular set of actions, if he get a maximum reward, that actions will be considered as the learned parameters in this case. 
so he will go on uh, doing lot of actions uh, for each and every action the record will be maintained like uh, whether he has received the record uh, reward or whether he has received the penalty and so on uh, for a particular set of actions if he has received the maximum reward that will be the answer in this particular case take an example in this case uh, uh, the agent has uh, two paths it has he has to go towards this particular actually the uh, the tap but uh, opposite to this one there is a fire also if he go towards this particular tap he will be given a reward if he goes towards this particular uh, the fire he will be given a penalty in this particular case so he has to perform the actions uh, and uh, as and when he performs actions these rewards and the penalties will be recorded the for a set of actions uh, where he has got maximum reward that will be considered as a learned, learned parameters in this case so this is about uh, the reinforcement learning in this video i have discussed what is uh, the machine learning what are the different type of machine learning exists i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching